Girls and guys, you've got to know about Mary Wollstonecraft. One more time, Mary Wollstonecraft. Got it? Why is she famous? Because she was a strong-minded, independent woman, a writer of important books, and one of the first feminists back when men looked like this, and women just had children and did housework. She shocked polite society by having two baby daughters by two different men without being married. I know, absolutely scandalous. What's more, one of those daughters was Mary Shelley, the author of a story you might know, Frankenstein. So, that's enough to wow people with your general knowledge, but let's hear a bit more about Mary's life. Mary Wollstonecraft would be about 260 years old today. She was born in 1759 in Georgian England, where women were considered second-class citizens. She was a passionate fan of equality for women. She wanted women to be educated and not just treated as silly decorations and property for men. <laughs> Mary was born near London into a well-off and educated family, but her father drank a lot, he spent all their money and he beat his wife, Mary's mother, so it's no surprise that she wanted to improve life for women when she grew up. So, she had an education, but no money. What could she do? Women like her didn't work back then, they just got married. But Mary was independent and determined. She set up a school near London to earn money, then she took a job as a tutor. After that, annoyed by the lack of opportunity for women, she decided to become a writer. This was a mad idea! How could she support herself? Luckily, she met a book publisher, Joseph Johnson, who helped her get started, and Mary lived on her own in London, writing and hanging out with a group of activists, intellectuals, thinkers and writers. What did she write about? She wrote two novels about women, several political commentaries, lots of interesting letters. She even wrote a self-help book called Thoughts on the Education of Daughters, full of advice about raising girls. The book that made her famous, The Vindication of the Rights of Woman, is one of the earliest works of feminist philosophy and a trailblazing start in the fight for women's rights. Her personal life was considered pretty disgraceful. At 33, Mary went to France to check out the French Revolution and fell in love with a dashing American adventurer, Gilbert Imlay, and had his baby. This was a big shocker back then. A baby and no husband. Did she hide away? Did she? Hell! Back in London, she began a love affair with the writer and philosopher William Godwin and soon gave birth to Mary, who would grow up to be Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein. But this story has a sad ending. After several days of agony following the birth, Mary Wollstonecraft died of septicemia on the 10th of September 1797, leaving her partner William utterly devastated. Mary Wollstonecraft is buried in St Pancras Old Church in central London, but she still lives on today through her feminist legacy, which continues to inspire women everywhere. She was ahead of her time, but now her time has come. Thank you, Mary Wollstonecraft. <laughs>